eu tô absolutamente envolvida nesse tipo de pesquisa porque eu acho muito importante. Né? A big part for me was searching for Norma's identity and for Norma's work and to make them visible to the world. I saw Norma as a mirror of myself. All the challenges that Norma faced, I'm, I'm faced somehow in my work as a filmmaker. My name is Livia Perez. I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and the title of my project is Finding Norma. I have been working as a filmmaker for the last 10 years, uh, mostly making documentaries on social issues, gender topics, and also about sexuality. You're not excited about finding new videos? Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we found some new videos. Let's see if it's... I can't believe it. Yeah. Let's see yeah. if it is material. You are so perseverant. <laughs> Let's go. Norma Baia Pontes was a Brazilian queer filmmaker and videomaker that made films in Brazil, in France and in US during the 60s and in the 70s. We're gonna go and we're gonna do it. We don't need daddy anymore and we don't need our brothers anymore. And we don't need shit except we need women to verify us as women. And we need to see ourselves in every woman and that's it. For this project, I interview more than 20 people. Norma's old friends and girlfriends and partners to hear about like how it was at that time. And during the 60s in Brazil, we had a dictatorship. And it was during that time that Norma was working as a critic. And it was very impressive to me that this woman was there producing, like working to make known this movement, doing films also, and she was not known. Se ela fosse homem, seria alguém que seria com certeza citada, entendeu? Como uma influenciadora até. It was very hard for lesbians and gay and LGBTQ people to live in Brazil. So this was one of the reasons why Norma moved to New York in the 70s. Norma was very impacted by the technology of the video, but also by the women's movement that was happening at that time. She realized that the movement was very heterosexual, that there was no space for lesbian women like her. So she started to make these videos. Uh, what do you think of the position of lesbians in feminism? I think it's great. It came much too late. Oh, that, that's really totally off, you know? Like, I don't know. This project started like five or six years ago. The whole research was also my PhD dissertation. And, and during the, this research, I collected all these materials, um, the 16 millimeter film by Norma, her first short, um, the videotapes were donated by Rita, uh, her ex-partner. So I have all these materials, I digitized them, and I, I'm trying to conserve them. And the idea of this project is to make a documentary that is about this person, but not only this person, because this story is very common between like Latin American female artists of that time. For this work, I want to kind of present Norma's works, and for sure, I want people to know who was Norma. I think she identified as an activist for sure. In the 60s, she was very connected with uh, leftist ideas. Um, she considered herself as a communist at that time. And then uh, she was mobilized in many struggles against dictatorship, but also in France against colonialism, and then in the US uh, against sexism and for the, the rights of lesbian 
women in, in the US. And I thought that maybe like the new generations of feminists and queer and black artists could be identified to this, uh, to this challenges, enormous stories uh, can highlight. So that's why I decided to make this project. I feel very like connected with Norma's works because also I found belonging in these images.